Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Chickens ride west. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's morning. I've got to do my deliveries. Relax, Mr Elf. It's early. Oh, yes. I love these quiet moments before the day begins. Yes, it's so lovely and peaceful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, it's the cockerel from the elf farm. The chickens have escaped. <laughs> we have to round them up. Come on, you chickens. Whoa. Come on, chickens. Come on, come on. Come on, chickens. Come on, choo choo. Whoa, good. Everything's under control. Thanks for your help, Mr. Elf. Lucky you were still here and not off on your deliveries. Oh, my deliveries! I really am late now. <laughs> Look at the little primroses. So pretty. <laughs> Good delivery. Morning, Mr. Elf. You're a bit late today. Yes, we had a problem with the chickens this morning. Chickens, eh? That reminds me. I really fancy an egg for breakfast. Ah, I didn't bring an egg today. No egg? No problem. I'll just go and get one. Can I come along? Of course. I'd better come too so I can pick a good egg. We'll drive back to the chickens, pick up the egg, load it on the truck, drive back here, and hey, presto, you'll have your egg, Your Majesty. Oh, all that for one egg? It'd be simple if I had my own chicken. Then I'd get an egg in time for breakfast. <laughs> OK. Bye. Bye. You don't really want a chicken, do you? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> an egg! The king wants an egg! Does he? We might have a problem there. The chickens aren't laying any eggs. What? Why not? The chickens have run out of food. They've pecked away all the plants. Till all that's left is mud. Yes, if you want a nice flower garden, don't keep chickens. Look, there's one little flower left. Oh, they like eating little flowers the best. Hey, you cheeky chicken. If only there was somewhere else they could live. Oh, Daddy said he'd like chickens at the little castle. Yes, he did sort of say that. It's true. The king said, I want my own chicken. It's the perfect solution. We'll move the chickens to the little castle. OK, everyone, we're moving the chickens west. Saddle up, cowboys. Yahee! Boys, you're moving chickens. So shouldn't you be called chicken boys? Uh, cowboy sounds better. Can I be a cowgirl? Sure thing, Holly. Here's your hat. <laughs> Wagons roll. Yeehaw! Yahoo! Yahee! Yippee! -yay, okay! -yay. I didn't realise moving chickens was so noisy. The chickens like noise. But we must be careful not to make a sudden loud noise. We don't want a stampede. Sudden loud noise? What, like bang? <laughs> ah, chicken on the loose! <laughs> Whoa! This way, this way! <laughs> Phew! That was close. Now, no more sudden loud noises, Nanny Plum. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west Wagons are a-rolling, west we are going Chickens ride west, chickens ride west We've reached Crooked Creek What do you mean, Crooked Creek? It's a creek, isn't it? And it's crooked It's just a little river Somehow we have to get the chickens to the other side. And chickens don't like crossing water. <laughs> I thought chickens loved water. Have you ever seen a chicken in water? All the time. Swimming up and down, going quack, quack. Look, there's one. <coughs> That's a duck. <sighs> Whatever. Chickens are not ducks and they don't like swimming. Ooh. So what can we do? We'll use an old cowboy trick to get the chickens across. 
Wait here. What's the old cowboy trick? I don't know, but it's bound to be very clever. Or very silly. But probably funny. Ta-da! Told you, he's dressed as Humpty Dumpty. Why is old elf? Why are you dressed as an egg? Chickens like to look after their eggs. So, if they see one floating across the water, they'll follow it. I'm an egg. Come in, chickens. The water's lovely and warm. I'm an egg. They're following the egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. That has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. You see, it's all quite simple when you're an old cow hand like me. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a cowboy in his underpants before? Wow! The chickens really like picking up flowers. They're eating machines, leaving nothing but mud. Yes. Are you sure the king said he wants chickens at the little castle? That's what Daddy said. I want chickens at the little castle. Very well, then. Saddle up. Chickens ride west. Chickens ride west. Wagons are a-rolling. West we are going. We're in the Badlands. Badlands? It's the meadow. We'll stop here for the night. Get the wagons in a circle. Let's keep these chickens safe. Ah, sleeping outdoors with a campfire. Life doesn't get better than this. Unless you're home in bed, watching television. Talking of home, we'd better phone the king. Hello? Hello, King Thistle. We're almost there, but we need to camp out for the night. Wow! How long can it take to deliver one egg? Don't worry, Daddy. You'll have your chicken by the morning. My chicken? What does Holly mean by that? Bedtime, everybody. Nanny, you keep watch. What do I have to do? Keep watching the chickens and do not fall asleep. Righto! Morning, Nanny Plum. How did it go in the night time? Uh, fine. Where are the chickens? Oh, they've gone. Gone? The whole point of watching them was to make sure they didn't go. You never said that. You just said watch them. You watch them wander off into the night? Yes. Oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Whoops. The chickens are stampeding! <laughs> We'll head them off at the pass. Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea. But they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village. <laughs> yeah, chicken stampede! <laughs> Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, <sighs> it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What are those chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <laughs> And you won't have any problems waking up. <laughs> 
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Lucy's Picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the Elf Factory? Yes! <laughs> this way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. <laughs> the old tin cans are made into clockwork gongs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and get squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're elves! <laughs> this way... Whee! Whee! The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Oh, the Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves and we... Ugh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh. Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> this is a really Dad, nice I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <coughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick! Get out of the bin! Huh? What was that? I said, 
Get out of the bin! It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought Fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> I live in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! <laughs> it's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> ah. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look. It says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy? Who were you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. 
What a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs>